Well, this is the hardest uh, damn. <laughs> can't even speak. Hardest bloody victory beer I've ever had. Cheers, Triglav. Done. Well, so it's Monday the 4th, I'm on my way to um, Davos in Switzerland to ride a, a Top Gear recommended road from Davos to the Stelvio Pass in Italy. Um, just had a bit of an issue, you probably can't see from here, um, Load my chain just jumped off, so i um, quite chuffed with myself that I've just stuck it back on, so better take it a bit steady just to make sure that doesn't happen again, um, but these things happen. Happily it broke down while I was in the spot of shade, so... Um, now to do but get going and just take it steady hopefully that's a one off but we'll have to see but we're a nervy 10 minutes ahead we'll see how it goes Well, uh, this is one of the things that Slovenia does to you, just driving along a, a nice road, put a little uh, meadow out on the and stuff, and uh, just took a look to my left, and so I've just had to uh, try and frame it, but oh my god, it is beautiful. And the best thing is, I think, this way, the three peaks in the left were where I was walking the other day, that's pretty left, I'm pretty sure. Nice. Look at that.
Well, today's been mental. It's about um, supposed to be doing about 500 kilometres um, riding towards the Stelvio Pass. I thought, oh, another mountain pass. How fantastic. Uh, but actually, I've done about 300 kilometres today and all except for 25 have been on... Uh, well, here we go. Here's one mountain pass road. Goes round, loops round a hairpin, down about another 40 hairpins down into a little valley below and that was just after coming over some mountains over there and then just beyond that and beyond that so this is Italy I've done today the Slovenian Alps Austrian Alps Italian Alps and uh, heading towards Switzerland where I don't think it will uh, stop being mountainous like this so it's <laughs> crazy times running well I feel like I'm well late it's uh, 200 kilometers to go and it's half past four I was hoping to be there for about five or six but not a chance but still lots of good riding to do so I'll enjoy that I was just, um, I don't know why, kind of, um, well, partly because I was watching Top Gear, I thought, you know, you sort of ride up and then um, it's almost like you're coming off a plateau and then down one side, but of course not, it's a mountain pass. And uh, whilst the kind of viewpoint and the touristy bit with all the concrete blocks and stuff that's kind of uh, on the James Bond films and, uh, and whatnot, is happy to go the side. This! <laughs> It's the twisty turny side that they don't really show you on the uh, on the photos, which is unbelievable. God knows how many hairpins already just up there, and uh, back down through that gap in the mountains to the other side. It's brilliant. 